Hey guys, how is everybody doing? And welcome back to another Joe Muller fast food review. Today we are headed to Hardee's and we are trying out their Midnight Moonshine Thick Burger. Stay tuned. I would like the Midnight Moonshine Burger, please. Can I be all? And a order of beer-battered onion rings. Hey, hey, thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. Wow, I could smell the char broil from here. It smells really good. Okay, guys, we are here. We are parked. I've got my bag. And the first thing I see is a beer-battered onion ring. And boy, does that look crispy. All right, let's give it a shot. Oh yeah. Nicely battered, crisp on the outside, creamy onion on the inside. Awesome. Mm hmm. Check those out. And I've got some bag residual, which I always appreciate. All right, let me get the burger out. Wow, this is really heavy, okay. I do have some napkins. <clears throat> Here it is, eat like you mean it. And here it is, guys. The one-third pounder moonshine thick burger from Hardee's. All right. Let me take you guys in for the detailed close-up. And there it is in all of its glory. The one-third pound moonshine thick burger from Hardee's. And... The bun looks nice and toasted. I do see the onion strings. I do see two pieces of bacon nicely crossed. And I see the patty. Boy, oh boy. And that does look charbroiled. And on the bottom, I've got my tomato, which does not look that fresh. And a very, very nice piece of lettuce. All right, let me put this together. We'll give it a shot and I'll tell you what I think. And here it is. First bite, wish me luck. Salute. right off the top guys I am tasting that awesome char broiled flavor on the burger it is absolutely unbeatable mm. I do taste the moon moon sign I do taste the moonshine sauce, which is very sweet. The burger is fine, although it's a little on the dry side. All right, I'm gonna take one more bite. On a scale of one to 10, would 10 be in the very best? I am giving this burger a rock solid 7.5. Now, a few things are going on here. The sauce is extremely sweet. The second thing, the burger was a little bit on the dry side, guys. That burger 
was cooked at least two hours ago and has been hanging out waiting for me to come and pick it up. That's number two. The third thing is the tomato was a little bit not ripe enough for me. And the burger presented very, very sloppy. All right, guys, getting back to the onion rings. These are really good. Really crispy on the outside, creamy onion on the inside, and they do remain intact when you bite into them. Go out and try them. Solo rating on the onion rings. I'm giving these a nine, guys. Really good. Yeah. That was my review. I hope you guys really enjoyed it as much as I absolutely love doing it for you. Take care. God bless. Please feel free to share, like, subscribe, comment below. Stay safe. Stay hungry. And I will see everybody really soon.